I'm upset. No one says bless you here after you sneeze. Yo, you won't believe what I got. Gelato! How's it going everybody? It's October 12th, 2019. I would say number four, but I'm probably not gonna keep a countdown or count up in this case of how many video journals I do. But uh, anyway, as you can tell, I'm not in an academic building. I am in our kitchen right now. Um, I would give you a tour of the place, but I'm gonna wait until we kind of spruce it up a little bit. We've been really busy trying to make it a little bit more like home. Uh, my room needs cleaning, it's laundry day, so <laughs> definitely not showing you that, unless if you really want to see plaid underwear, which by the way, I only have because of shirt tails back freshman year. I wish that video was still brown. <laughs> I'll just get right into it. So I was actually able to explore Bournemouth a little bit more, uh, now that I know all the buses and uh, the routes that I need to go on, I've been able to just whenever I have an off day to actually go and explore. In fact, uh, right after the last video journal, I just hung out with Hannah for a little bit. There was this little promotion that the uh, school was doing where they had exotic pets and, you know, regular animals such as dogs and rabbits and stuff, but she got to hold a bearded dragon. So there was that. <laughs> uh, she was definitely, <laughs> she definitely loved it. Um, it was funny, but after that, I actually went down into uh, Lansdowne, which is sort of around the uh, town central, around Bournemouth Square. And I went down there to um, pretty much just explore around a little bit and see what's going on. We uh, went and saw St. Peter's Church, and it was, it was, it was beautiful. It was so amazing just to be in there. It's, everything was just so beautiful, and it was, so quiet in there that you would think that you were like somewhere in the countryside. You couldn't even hear what was going on out in town center. And it, it was just really awesome uh, going to do that. Um, but eventually I did explore a little bit uh, with some of the guys. <laughs> Fun story, actually. So I actually put it in a little uh, clip here. That way you can kind of get a feel of uh, the location that I was at. But I was with uh, Taj and Dre, and we were taking the bus down to Bournemouth Square. I can't remember what it was for. I do remember what it was for, actually. Um, I'll get to that in a moment. But anyway, so we were taking a bus uh, down to Bournemouth Square, and we got off like a stop early just to get a walk or something like that. But then I realized my phone slipped out of my pocket. So I'm like, yo, I love my phone. And then they're like, well, we'll try and meet them at the next stop. I said, already on it. I just start booking it and I actually make it down to that stoplight and beat on the uh, the door and he let me in, got my phone and I got off on the next stop and just walked out. Um, for those of you from Hendrix, if you, if you remember during junior years, um, well my junior year, so that had to have been what, 2016, 2017, that's, that, um, what was it, the uh, conditioning test at midnight? Imagine that last run, that's what it looked like. <laughs> the Lord was with me. Yeah, so that went well. But the reason why I was there in the first place with those guys, we were meeting uh, the new guy that was coming in from the States. His name is Sheik. Awesome, awesome guy, awesome player. Uh, we went down to uh, Nando's uh, over in the square and just ate there, hung out for a while. We, we were there for like three hours just talking and hanging out. This guy, he's really solid. He came from, uh, he came from Grand Canyon University, a uh, really solid player, very quick, good jump shot. He's actually, we learned that he played in the G League for a little bit, so that was really cool. Um, but overall, he's just an awesome guy off the court as well. So I can't wait to really, um, I guess get to know him a little bit more. So we actually started the unit side of our schooling and everything. We finished the orientation, which was called Sprint One, a two week program. But 
the first few classes, um, we have, I have two classes in the semester. There's one, it's a really long acronym, but basically it's teaching us how to be leaders of a, leaders of a business in a socially changing environment. So it's like always evolving. And then the other one, it's developing sustainable strategies. Um, that one's more of the critical thinking side of it, trying to get all these different models. And really there's supposed to be tool belts to help us when we uh, go out into the working world and we're, you know, we're managers, we're leaders, CEOs, all that stuff. Or at least that's the hope that they have for us. However, the first class, um, the, leading, the leading one with the uh, social changes, Right now it still seems like it's introductions and they're just trying to give themselves credibility and as credible as they are, I, it's just, it's more so that we've already been through it. So it's kind of one of those things where I'm just, <laughs> get on with it, just get on with it. But for the most part, I think it'll be all right. I, I think that most of the uh, professors in that class, they have a lot of potential. The lecturers are very knowledgeable. Um, I just wish that they would give our class a little bit more context with uh, certain assignments. Um, what I did learn in one of those classes, it was actually this one here, um, where we were talking about cultural world differences. Um, and one of them is the fact that uh, the U.S. is sort of known as a low-context uh, culture where everything is sort of laid out, how we want it done, when do we want it, all this stuff. And also we mean what we say, for the most part. <laughs> but when it comes to high-context countries, it's sort of like things are already implied or they're assumed and people get them just like that. The U.K. is one of the very few exceptions with English-speaking countries because usually English or Germanic speaking countries are the ones that have low context cultures and the UK is known to have a high context culture. So I believe that with them just giving us information on how to find info for an assignment, it, it doesn't make any sense considering that we don't really know what we're doing for the assignment. But I'm sure that we'll figure it out. Dre and I, we're, all, we're tight in that class and we always figure something out. The other class, Developing Sustainable Strategies, we had that on um, Thursday and Friday. The first one we have Monday and Tuesday, we have a break Wednesday, but um, Thursday, Friday, that was actually a really good class. I, I don't really do well with strategy when it comes with business and it's really uh, teaching me already just the different models to look at. It's giving me a really good basic understanding and I'm already, know, I'm already learning how to do different analyses. Um, there's PESTEL, which is about the political, economic, um, let me think, social, technological, uh, ecological, and then um, I think it's legal. Um, I'll probably look at my notes later. But they have that analysis. There's an analysis of uh, five forces. I forget who said it, but pretty much it just kind of gives you uh, a basic analysis of how to enter a certain uh, industry and then what um, powers are kind of making you do the things that you do. And then there was also SWAT, which was, um, it was strengths and weaknesses and then opportunities and threats. So already I got the tools I need for the other assignment that they gave us. And that one was a little bit more, con uh, like more context was given. So um, anyway, both of those, they're due way later. However, time creeps up, especially with a procrastinator like me. So anyway, I digress. <laughs> so basketball is actually going really well. Um, we're starting to come into our own as a team. We're starting to understand our strengths and weaknesses and how to uh, boost those up. We actually started running plays uh, yesterday and we still got more to go, but they're definitely a lot more different than in college. Where college, yes, that they still gave you a bunch of looks to try and get you a good play or different shots out of it. But with the 24 second shot clock in this league, uh, it's gonna be a lot harder. So these are mainly just these different looks where they're easy to get out of and you're able to score or get different reads. So thankfully my college experience, um, reading different actions during a play, this is gonna become really helpful and I'm really able to think the game a little bit more. But um, 
I, I like it so far. It's a lot of play remembrance, but overall, like, it really kind of brings out different strengths and, um, I guess, overall playability with all of us because we're going to be a short team this year. Um, so all the positions are more like a five out, but sometimes we can interchange it. No one's really going like low post unless if there's like a little cross screen and we can go up for a layup easy. But we're going to be a very quick team, a uh, run and gun type. I've really improved my stamina over the uh, off season, despite like <laughs> several times I just had to stop playing. Um, but overall, I think it'll be all right as long as we just keep running as long as we uh, make good plays, not try to get too selfish. And honestly, I don't think that there's going to be any problem with selfishness. Uh, everybody is out there just trying to make the extra pass and make good plays. Um, everybody's out there to win. Everybody's out there to really get after it. And it, it kind of reminds me of home. I feel like home every time I'm back there, except for the corners. I still hate those corners. So, I made the first team, but I am not a starter. It looks like I'll either be the sixth or the seventh man coming off the bench. Maybe eighth. It's hard to tell. <laughs> but I will be coming off the bench, it looks like. But I am not complaining whatsoever. I still have a lot to work on. My shot, it's getting a little bit better around here. Uh, my layups are getting a lot better. Defense has never been a problem. I'm actually able to really read defenses a lot better than I did back in college. I think my film sessions have really helped with that. Um, but we have our first game in four days. So we'll be going to uh, Brunel. Uh, that's like two hours away. I don't exactly know where. I'm still getting used to the geography with the rest of the country. But yeah, I'm excited for the game. I don't know if it's going to be streamed or not. I'm still trying to find that out, but um, I think once it gets to the more important games, like the cup games that will happen in the midseason, there may be some that will be streamed, but either way, um, that's where we're at with that. But with the team, we, we've actually just been hanging out a lot more. Um, we've gone out and eaten together, just gone out uh, to different bars and clubs together, just hanging out. Um, Really, it's just it's just been a really fun experience with these guys, and they're probably some of the best friends that I have here. Um, I would not trade them for anything, really. That that sounded so lame. <laughs> but yeah, things are really looking up with them. I think our chemistry is just through the roof. But even beyond that, I know that I made some friends for life. The church search keeps on. Right now, I'm just getting a little bit irritable because um, I'm not able to really find a time or a place to really go and search for a community of Christ followers. Because um, we got practice 12 to 2, and most of the church services around here, they're around 9, maybe 10, and they end like probably around 12, but I'll be rushing to practice. I mean, if I can get, if I can do it, it'll be worth it. But um, as of right now, it seems like that. Your boy is still gonna have to just find some, some more uh, Christ-following friends and keep in the word. As not that that's a problem, although there are there were some times where I've just been so busy that just I've forgotten over a day. But then the next day, not to say like I'm trying to make it up, but I'm just so interested in what I'm reading that I just end up just going more into it. Um, at this point, it, with First uh, Samuel, I have gotten to where uh, the Israelites demanded a king. At first, I thought it was just like um, it read earlier that um, that Samuel's sons they were not really doing well as judges since Samuel, he you know, old age can't really tour Israel anymore. Can't make those ticket sales. That was lame. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> anyway, so. At first I thought it was just because that they had the best interests of uh, the nation at heart that, you know, Samuel's sons weren't following after God and that they were wanting judges that would. But no, if you read a little bit carefully, which, you know, it's the one that we as Christians usually understand a little bit, is the fact that they wanted a king just like every other nation and God called them to be set apart from said nations uh, that did not follow him. 
and yet they still wanted a king that would rule them just like how the other nations would. But yeah, I could really relate it with today's stuff. Um, it's very prominent with the fact that we we just want what everybody else wants, more so in the fact that we want the same pleasures, we want the same satisfactions, uh, we want the same clothes, money, cars, all that. But really it comes down to the fact that we want to gratify ourselves the same way as those in the world. When God has set us, like called for us to be set apart from the world, not in a way where we're better than anybody, but because we are set to such a high standard and yet we continually fail, we are actually lower than those in the world. It's only by the righteousness, sacrifice, and mercy of God and his son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us, that actually puts us like right there with him. But yeah, we always, we always want what others want and it's not best for us. So that's more of a cautionary tale. As great as God has worked through it, and created a great king of David and the wise Solomon. It it created a lot of tragedy within it as well. And in a way, it was also something that needed to be done for the prophecy to be fulfilled, as with Jesus's um, well father uh, Joseph. Um, his line went from King David, so it was as if it was planned the entire time. But there's still a cautionary tale. So, uh, Hannah and Ben, they left to go home for the weekend, so it's just me and Frankie, but she works all the time, so... It's just me! Party! Honestly, I'm just gonna be making a lot of chicken and pancakes. I can't make waffles. I don't have a waffle iron. <laughs> but no, hopefully they're having a good time, they're being safe. I'll see them on Sunday, but... But I did happen to make a new friend. Uh, her name is Amber. She's actually from Boston. Um, she has no affiliation with any of the sports here. Turns out that she has family here in England and it was just cheaper for her to come here. So um, we'll see how everything goes. We're getting to know her. And um, if she ever needs anything, I'm here. Helpful, all that stuff. Uh, she actually did come by uh, at one point and you know, we all hung out together and had pancakes and studied for a little bit as much as I study, considering I procrastinate all the time. <laughs> but anyway, um, so yeah, I made a new friend, but still got the same ones. But it looks like that's really all I have. Um, I will try to find a way to get some footage of the games when I play, um, or really any updates that kind of happen with that. For those of you that are still watching, thank you so much. Uh, your support means so much to me. And honestly, I just, I don't know what I would do um, if I didn't have any of, any of you guys like backing me up. It just means a lot in my heart, it means a lot with my mind. It just kind of keeps me going the times where I just feel like that, is it really worth it all with all the troubles of me trying to acclimate to the culture and everything. And it's because of people like you and my family and all my other friends that just really want to see me do well. And I just greatly appreciate it. So, until next time, see you guys later.